In today's video, I'm going to show you how to shave a valve cover, and then we're going to be laser etching on top of it. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. God bless you and welcome to the channel. I pray you're having a blessed day in Jesus' mighty name. In today's video, we're going to be shaving a valve cover. I'm going to show you how I do it. But first, we've got to head out to Pickers. So here we go. All right, so I'm out here at Pickers in Reno, Texas, just outside Paris, Texas. And I found a valve cover that I'm going to be painting, but we're going to be grinding all of the uh, stuff on the top off painting it and then laser etching a scripture on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this off and we'll get started with more. All right, so I let the valve cover soak in a bucket of purple power and water mixture overnight, scrubbed it as clean as possible. Some of the paint was already coming off, so I figured I'd use a sandblaster and try to sandblast extra stuff off, but it didn't work that well because I don't have a blast cabinet. So I need to get one of those in the future. So I went ahead and used some paint stripper, sprayed it on there, let it sit for a while, scrubbed it in with a toothbrush, recleaned it in the bucket, and here we are. So now I'm ready to use a grinder and grind the VTEC and the Honda and all that stuff as flat as possible. You don't want to gouge it. So I had to actually take the uh, protective shield off, which is dangerous. So do that at your own risk so I could get it as flat as possible and grind as much material down as possible. Once I got it really close, I kind of backed off a little bit because we don't want to go too far and leave big valleys in the valve cover. Um, after I was done with that, I switched to some 40 grit sandpaper to knock it as smooth as possible. And since it's aluminum, it doesn't really take very long to go down and get it as flat as possible. Then I stepped it up to 60 grit sandpaper and then ultimately went to 320 grit. And that's leaving us where we're at now. So I went through the tote I have full of spray paint and I found some white primer. This stuff will work great for a base coat. I'm gonna go ahead and get the base all white. Once all the white primer is laid down, then we will move to the next step, which I found some old rose gold. I know it's not the exact same gold, but I just need a decent base coat uh, because I don't have a lot of gold left that I used on the wheels, the valve cover, the intake, and the heat shield. So I'm just trying to use what paint I do have. Um, you know, just making it work with what I got. And went ahead and laid some of that rose gold down. And then what was left of the gold paint, I sprayed over the top and only barely got it on there and then hit it with some clear coat. So now moving over to the laser etching machine from X Tool. I haven't used this in over a year, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a 1 Corinthians 1031. The scripture is basically saying how everything we do, whether we're eating or drinking, do all for the glory of God. And that's what I do with my YouTube channels, both of them. I get a lot of hate for it, but I'm telling you this right now. If you guys had the cure for cancer, you wouldn't be selfish and keep it to yourself unless you're just a really bad person. Well, I have the cure to sin and death, and his name is Jesus. So that's why I do everything I do. I give glory to God. So I'm going to put that right there on the valve cover. And since I haven't used this laser etcher in over a year, I decided to do a practice run on an old ECU cover. And I put the power at 33% and did two passes and it turned out decent. So I said, well, we're just going to put the valve cover in there and uh, pray for the best. And I went two passes over it, but I did turn the power up a little bit more. I probably should have turned the power up even more, but it did turn out pretty good. And this is what the valve cover used to look like. And this is what it looks like now. And I think it looks absolutely awesome considering I was using recycled paint. I didn't have money to go out and buy more paint. So this is what it looks like. Now I will probably make it a little bit bigger and scoot it over to the left just a little bit more next time, but considering how it turned out, it turned out great in my opinion. And these are the COT6 coilovers from Max Peating Rods. I'll have these linked in the description. These ones ride really good and they have adjustable damper control. The ones on here are like the entry level Max Peating Rods and they ride really well, but I know these ride a lot better. I've used them in my Turbo RSX that made 500 horsepower and it did great in there and my EP3 and my brother's Civic and some other things. So yeah, it's definitely really nice coilovers for sure. So I'm gonna be taking these coil springs off and sanding them down and painting them grabber green. So that way it'll match the brakes I did green. I'll have the suspension components black and green. And then outside will be gloss white. The engine bay will be the grabber green and I'll have the gold so it'll all tie it all together. I'm also swapping the headlights out with some different style black housings, but they'll still be black housings. I'll also be doing a different grill and front lower lip kit as well. Well, this is the method that I like to use. If you guys have a better method, please drop a comment below with a link to a video of you doing it and how you do it. I'd like to see how other people are shaving their valve covers. This method works pretty good for me. I was able to do it with everything I already had, so this didn't cost me any money to do. I was just using old recycled materials. I got the old valve cover hanging up on the wall behind me. It's holding my keys, so now I have a place to put my keys, so that's pretty nice. But uh, 
yeah, if you guys liked the video, please hit the like button, drop a comment below, share the video around with someone who might find this interesting. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll my outro. I hope you all have a blessed day. Hey everyone, I want to let you know the gospel, which means good news. And the good news is we no longer have to live this way. We don't have to live in bondage and sin and addiction and in a depression. We can call upon the name of names and the Lord of Lords, which is Jesus. He went to the cross and died for sinners like me and like you. Every one of us falls short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death. The free gift of eternal life comes through Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. All you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus rose from the dead by the power of God, defeated sin and death for us, and you will be saved. After you're saved, the good works start to show. We're not saved by our works. We can't be saved by feeding the homeless or the poor or going and doing good deeds and stop cussing, but we are saved through our faith in Jesus Christ. And once you have that faith, those things seem to fall off. Your language will clear up. Your good deeds will start flourishing, and you will show fruit that you are saved by the King of Kings. Jesus loves you. I love you. And I just wanted to let you know this truth. I know there's people that reject it, but that's their choice. God did not invent hell for us. He gave us a way out with Jesus at the cross. Hell wasn't designed for us. It was actually designed for the fallen angels and the ones that followed after Satan. And it's because of Satan's pride. So remember that whenever you see that word pride everywhere. Just remember it's because of pride that Satan fell. Don't fall into that trap. But God also does honor our choice. If we want to live away from him, he will honor that because he loves us. Love must be free and not forced. See, God is a just God and a God of love, and he loves us so much he gave us free will to choose him or reject him. And either which way we go, he will honor. If we choose him, all the other things are going to fall off and we're going to go towards him. If we reject him, he'll honor that by sending you far from him. And hell is a place of torment. And it will also be filled with a bunch of religious fanatics who sit there shaking their finger at you because you're doing this, but they're doing even worse. They know the truth. So they're going to be held to a higher standard. As soon as you know the truth, you are held to a higher standard. So it's worse for a believer than an unbeliever. I just want to call all of my brothers and sisters out there who have backslid. I've done it. And I call them back in the name of Jesus. I pray this message reaches you. So all you have to do is believe in the finished work. It's not complicated. Open your Bible, start reading, and ask God to open your eyes. And I pray this message reaches whoever it's intended for, because I know there's a lot going on in the world. Guys, he's coming back soon. Jesus is coming. So go ahead, open your Bible, tell the world. I just want to let you know, God loves you, and I love you. If you're saying in your mind, you can't love me, you don't even know me. Well, people hate each other for no reason. I get hated on all the time, and people don't know me. So I can love you for no reason. Well, my reason comes from above. His name is Jesus. Just wanted to leave you with that. God bless each and every one of you. God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Jesus loves you.